Hello, everyone. Welcome to Developing Palettes. I'm Aaron Lewis coming to you from the Drew Estate Studio. With me today is June Lou, Seth Geis, and from the Villa Scar Studios, John McTavish. How are you guys doing? Superb. Good. I got I got to get some wheel locks on my chair. I feel like in my new studio, my chair is just like this floor is so awesome. You see now John is like I like a slow sh- roll. He's talking kind of about coasting. All, I'm I'm used to being on like this really crappy deck patio with snow, so it doesn't move anywhere. But now yeah. I got like this really nice manufactured floor, and it's just like anyway. All right. So today we are talking about the Hoyo de Monterey. The You're Olegios. on a curling ring, John. We all know it. Just, Very hard, baby. Very hard. <laughs> just, just take your shirt off. All right. So the Illusione of Excalibur number one. Uh cigar is a double corona, seven and a quarter by fifty-four. Uh comes out of the Tapsa factory in Nicaragua. Wrapper is Nicaraguan Crojo 99. Binder is the infamous Nicaraguan Crojo 2012. Filler is Nicaraguan Criollo and Crojo from 1998, 1996, and 2006. Hey. Uh, blended be by Dion Giolito. Price point is nineteen dollars and ninety nine cents, and the cigar was released in July of two thousand and twenty two. So, with all that out of the way, June, what was your overall experience like with a cigar? Uh, I overall thought it was average. Um, so, to me, this tasted like like Agonorsa Corojo. That's halfway there, uh, meaning the flavors were not very full. Um, but there's like plenty of like things like, you know, cedar, pepper spice and leather. But I didn't get much of the like the softer side of like a really good Agonorsa Corojo in the sense of like that sweetness, like bread sweat, uh, sweetness, <laughs> bread sweat, um, <laughs> like cinnamon, ginger snap cookies. Um, so, you know, in a really good solid Corojo, I will get all of that together in like very full flavors. So. Um, and, and also, you know, these flavors are pretty boring and monotonous, um, and to have that when smoking it for so long for such a big ass cigar, uh, was, it was a chore. All right, Seth, what were your thoughts? Yeah. I mean, I found it, it, it was a soft, soft profile. Uh, there were some creamy aspects. There was earthy, um, bits of mocha, wood and leather sweet spices um pepper and wood medium and strength and body and it just kind of did that same thing for the whole seven and a half inches and 54 ring gauge and it just took forever and it just kept doing the same damn thing um and i gave it a really good burn um because it's out of topsa and it was a good burn but like it was a good burn but because it was out of Topsa, very it's good very good. Topsa. Yeah. It's a very good for Topsa. So they got a very good, and then their job was very good. So, John? I was just looking at my burn notes. And I'm like, does Topsa have burn issues? And then I'm like, oh, yeah. They kind of <laughs> have that knife. I feel bad because I feel like I'm just going to get a message from uh, Terrence. But, uh, you know, you know what you did. Um, so I'm the outlier here because... June said some interesting things about uh, the sort of classic tabs of profile. And I'm torn because I feel like, yes, it wasn't as intense as a lot of the tabs of stuff can be, but I don't think you can do that on a cigar this big because you'd, you'd have power. No, no, no. Hold on, John. You're lower. Oh, okay. sorry, sorry, sorry. We, sorry. Please do not lower your standards of what TAPSA is <laughs> and what it should be. We're not doing that. Okay. We're sticking to our guts of the good old days of TAPSA. Let me, let me finish. This guy's just defending Justin. Let me, let me finish. <laughs> because, because if, if you had, if you had that much full flavor, the, 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 your palate would be completely overwhelmed by the hour and 20 minute mark. And this, and this was like a, like a, three so, hour. so, so you can't, so Cubans can't make the, so we can't make good d- double Coronas. You're saying Liga Bravada can't have a double Corona? Correct. Yeah. Oh, okay, he, he, he didn't challenge it. So, I mean, he, admit, right? oh, so he stated it. Okay. All right. That's okay. what, okay. that's his opinion on the matter. He has stated it and therefore it's, <laughs> therefore it is. Um. So, yeah. So like, you know, flavor, flavor profile wise, I got uh, sweet baking spices, wood, bread, chocolate, um, celery, vegetal notes, Um. you know, like, like all those kind of good agonorsa things. And the second, third was more of the same. So bread, chocolate, wood, baking spices, um, and you know, the baking spices were definitely light plus, but 
I, I was kind of thankful for that because I feel like my palate would have been fatigued. And then the last third was still uh, bread and baking spices, but I, uh, there was kind of a dry tannic wood underlying it. And so that last, call it uh, 45 minutes, 40 minutes of smoking, um, that wasn't, you know, as good. It was so um, draw was perfect. And uh, what a shocker. I had to do relight on something out of taps. That's so weird. So yeah, um, you know, I don't think it affected the, the flavor profile because I still got like, uh, you know, a good experience, uh, two hour, 51 minute smoking time. That's pretty long. Aaron, what about you? Yeah, I've made this crush out with toasted oak and a very mild baking spice. Got some earth that joined in fairly quickly. Uh, second, third, saw light mustiness join in. And the final third, saw light vegetal note join in. Um, I had perfect construction on my cigar, so fantastic for that. Um, didn't have to worry about um, any issues in such a long smoking time. But um, average flavor profile, kind of focused around t uh, toasted oak, earth, and black pepper. Uh, very linear uh, throughout, just kind of subtle changes. Um, and for a cigar of this size uh, with very little transitioning, you really need to enjoy the flavor profile to like stay engaged with it. Um, but that wasn't the case for me. So. Um, Pretty mundane, didn't do anything to grab my attention. Uh, pair that with a high price point. Uh, it's just it's just a pass, man. Um, like, I like a cigar. Like, if you have a big cigar and you can smoke it and you have perfect construction, you cannot, really don't have to worry about it. Uh, I can get – I if I'm doing other stuff, I don't mind the flavor profile not being, like, super engaging. But, like, I can't do that. I can't do spend 20 bucks on that kind of experience, right? If the cigar was 10 bucks, 12 bucks, maybe, maybe. But no, nah, 20 bucks. No. Nah. All right. Starting at the top with John, 6.62. Uh, June and I both gave it a 5.75 and Seth gave it a 5.5. So, John, how'd that 6.62 match up for you? I mean, it matched up to my experience pretty well. Um, you know, it's it's kind of a mixed bag because on one hand, uh, you know, scoring it, I'd be like, yeah, 6.62 is a really good cigar. But also, you know, would I smoke it again? And the problem is not the profile. It's the fact that it's like a three-hour smoking time. And, and I don't really have a lot of segments of three-hour smoking time that I can dedicate to one cigar. So, you know, on one hand, it's a really good cigar. On the other hand, I wouldn't necessarily smoke it again because of its size. So it's kind of a mixed bag. Anyways. All right, June 5.75. Uh, it was uh, – it's, it's a decent score. It's an average score. Uh, but – you know, the real story behind that is like kind of like what you guys are all saying is, you know, the the monotony of smoking that same average flavor profile for so long, it's just not worth it, right? Like, you know, I, 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 I unlike you, Aaron, uh, if it's a, like an okay flavor profile, like, mm -hmm. and I don't, I don't want to smoke it for three hours. No, like, I understand. I'll, yeah. Yeah. But like, I'll easily pitch and I'll pick up something else. Right. Um. But could I? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> you know, then fuck it. Might as well have a cigarette, you know? Like, uh, <laughs> no, that's not the same, actually. That's a terrible, <laughs> terrible analogy, uh, terrible example. But yeah, it was it was average. And, and and really, like, I don't know. I just, I'm still disappointed in all this, like, Agrodorsa stuff. And you figure Dion could do something with it, right? That's going to be better than the what other people are doing with Agrodorsa and tobacco, but it's just not the case. Uh, my five seven five matches up well. I mean, same as June. I mean, it's just uh, perfect construction on that average flavor profile. I just I'm not bought into this Corojo 2012 yet. Like I I don't know. I just not bought into it. So I don't know if that played into it or whatever it is. But like, um, to me, like I'm just going through the motions of smoking the cigar. Right? Like it's like like June said. Like you, typically you would if you're not enjoying the cigar. If you're smoking for pleasure, right? You're gonna pitch it. But like. The size of the cigar, the price of the cigar, like I, I even think if you're trying to smoke it for pleasure, like if you buy in at 20 bucks, you're like, I'm finishing this fucking thing because I paid for it, right? So I don't know. So it puts you in a weird spot. All right, Seth, 5.5. Man, where do we begin with this? I mean, <laughs> I've said for years that I, I don't know what happened, but whenever anyone tried to start making double coronas off of the island of cuba they just fuck up it's just they just can't that's true they just we just can't first of all like listen is this a good blend by dion no and i would give him a hard time for this but he's made shit far worse than this and 
Justin is going to look at this like, hey, man, at least I got to do something with Dion. So it's a win there. Yeah. And Dion's like, I get to do something with with Oya de Monterey, man. That's a yeah. win, you know? Yeah. Um, but like the 20 bucks is just absolutely ridiculous. The cigar is too big. The blend's just too monotonous. I mean, this is just... <sighs> I we've gone here before. How many Rothschilds can we smoke for this? <laughs> right. Four. I mean, four. But let's just four Rothschilds. But I mean, it's I, I'm people watching this, you know, don't you know, don't buy this shit. Stop. Let's protest, man. It's like, you know, people like get out and vote. This is the same thing. Just start smoking the stuff that's good and don't encourage these people. And we gotta stop. I mean, listen, we're not trying to encourage them. Yeah. We're buying this stuff and telling you don't don't smoke it. Don't spend twenty bucks on this. If I see any of you motherfuckers post a social media post about you smoking this, I'm going to harass the shit out of you. <laughs> yeah, and no one's going to stop me because Elon Musk post. is going to encourage me to do it. Like, just <laughs> don't. It's just there's better stuff out there. Yeah, I'm reporting your post to Facebook and Instagram. But I'm going to defend I'm going to defend John and his review of this because there's been many times where I've been on a hill and I'm sure I'm going to be on a hill with a cigar in the near future and I know it's going to happen. You, you know, the weird thing is like I I don't necessarily disagree with a lot of the points you're making. The cigar looks good. The bands look really good. Yeah, the bands are nice. They do. It's a nice refresh. The, I, if it was a smaller, uh, if this was a smaller cigar, and this was why did say, he make it this huge by the way who knows who i, I mean this is just obnoxious who you know knows? what i mean like but like okay let's say he let's say he released a what's that what's that size that h upman 5 by 48 let's say he or like a hermosa let's say they did like a 5 by 48 of Ooh. this for like 9 bucks okay yeah I buy into that. Yeah, you'd be like, okay, it's nine no. bucks. No, probably selling. From my understanding, from my understanding, these are not selling. Yeah, I mean, of course, it's, I mean, who? Uh, this who wants size to spend twenty to bucks on a cigar this size. Exactly. We have a Saka Khan coming out, which is this exact same size. Yep. Oh, interesting. Oh, oh man. Okay. Hmm. I'm with you, Aaron. I, I, I think this wrapper's just. No, it's a binder on this one, but yeah. But you know what? He didn't want to put it on the any of the Illusione stuff. Yeah, I'm trying to remember. I don't think he has. Uh, and he would tell you that he hasn't still. I don't know. No, I want to say maybe one of the PCA Alegria. exclusive or the... I'm looking at Cigar List. The Alegria has it. Oh, do you have, it? Does he have uh, it on there? Does yeah. have it on the Alegria? But yeah. that doesn't have... Well, that doesn't no, he anything. doesn't. No, 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 no. No, he no. doesn't. No. I'm telling you, look at something which has his and he doesn't have it in there. Oh, it's like he never did any of the Corojo Maduro either. They stopped doing that, you notice. <laughs> yeah. Man, Terrence, is... Is gonna, Terrence is going to be watching this and be like, good <laughs> lord, these guys are yeah, vicious. But we're, we got to finish this recap. This recap being honest. Just... I mean, we're, we're being, we're not trying to be dicks, but we're, we're being honest, right? Like, we love, yeah. we want it's too big, it's too to big. do good. It's too big of a cigar, and the blend is just too. There's just I don't. It's lacking. It's I don't mind that it's soft, but it's just there's not there's not enough for such a big cigar. Mm -hmm. yeah. If if you do, if you were offering me this as like a smaller offering and just kind of like a kind of like a hey, this is an easy little smoke that you could smoke whenever, and it's under ten bucks. Yeah, I, I'd buy it because I'd get the purpose of it. You know, yeah, same. Okay. Okay. All right. See you. Uh, see okay. you in a few. Uh, see you in a few more weeks, Illusioni. <laughs> uh, wherever you catch this video, be sure to like and subscribe. But read the full written review on the website, developmentpalace.com. Uh, follow us on social media channels, and you catch all of our review recaps on podcasts, iTunes, Google Play, and Podbean. Thank you for tuning in. We will catch you on the next one. Okay. Okay. <laughs>